Snuff Drunk. Welcome back to Snuff Drunk Plays. Magic Sword and talks about his trip to Japan that happened around this time of year, about five years ago. Um, I think it was five years ago, maybe six. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, our first night in Japan, our hostel was locked up, couldn't get in. So we decided to get a capsule hotel and experience that pleasure. Uh, that was uh, like sleeping in an open-ended casket. Um, it was really strange. Um, uh, I remember uh, waking up, or, or no, I, I was talking about the front desk, yeah. Um, the th we finally, we wait in line and we finally get to the front desk um, and the guy is asking my friend questions um, and he's speaking in a very, very hushed tone. He's, he's like eyeballing us, like he doesn't trust us, like we're, we're scheming or something. Um, and he's asking us like, why are you here? What, what, like, how long are you gonna stay? What, what are you doing here? And uh, and he's, he has he has me repeat the questions to me. Um, the front desk guy asked me to ask uh, ask my friend to ask me the same questions he's asking him. Where is the door? Where do I leave? There it is. Um, the uh, the funniest question he asked was, um, "Do you have any tattoos?" And my friend he asked my friend that, and then my friend uh, he needs to know if you have any tattoos, and I say no. Um, and then uh, <laughs> he follows that up with, "Do you think it's okay with people that that people with tattoos are not allowed to stay here?" And my <laughs> friend <laughs> relays back, "He needs to know if you think it's okay that people with that have tattoos aren't allowed to stay here." And it, I was so exhausted; I hadn't slept in like four days. I thought I was like loose, like, "What? I don't fucking care." And my friend later tells me it's because of uh, the Yakuza. It's a mafia gangster kind of a thing. You're not allowed to have tattoos. Um, wow, what the fuck? Are you serious with this part? There's arrows coming from everywhere? Jesus. So, and not only um, do you have to sleep in a tube at these capsule hotels, but this place gives you pajamas uh, to, to wear. Uh, they're basically shorts and a shirt. Kind of, kind of like a half of a, a bath. I don't remember honestly. I was, I was so exhausted. My brain was so fried. Um, I just wanted to lay down. Uh, but yeah, we they were comically oversized. Um, so I was walking around this place with people staring at us. Um, oh, that's right. Not only was it a capsule hotel, but it was a bathhouse too. So um, there's like naked Japanese men like wandering around too, as if this isn't weird enough. Uh, so yeah, and I remember waking up in my tube, not wondering where- why isn't this guy dying? Jeez. Alright, let's grab- nah, fuck that guy. Um, let's, uh, the, the uh, um, when I woke up on the tube, my friend didn't sleep. He was hanging out in the smoke room, uh, watching a Japanese dubbed version of Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> it's just so freaking strange. Um, yeah, anyway, if you ever have a chance to go to Japan, highly recommend, if only for the feeling of just that, that, like, I'm on another planet right now. I don't know, uh, where I, it's just so disorienting. It's so strange. It's, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, ah, that was really dumb. I think you're supposed to jump through the chain. Um, god, this part is hard. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna die anyway. Who cares? Wow, did that blow up the that thing too? That was pretty cool. God, the jump mechanics in this game just aren't the best. Not gonna lie. Now I gotta retrieve my sword. Fuck this. You can't even if you do that. You can't fucking get past it. Man, this game has some. There's certain flaws with this game. <laughs> um. What level am I on? Oh, I'm already to the 20th floor. Anyway, yeah. I slept a lot in Japan, and um, I don't regret it. <laughs> like, I spent... I, there was obviously the jet lag to contend with um, after the long trip, but... I don't sleep well. I, I, if sleep were a sport, I'd be, like, really bad at it. <laughs> If, yeah, if sleep is a skill, I absolutely suck at it. I just, I don't fall asleep. It takes me hours to fall asleep. I only stay asleep for, like, four or five hours at most. That's a good night's sleep. 
Um, but I absolutely need that four or five hours. If I don't get it, I am a, just a worthless corpse, and I am miserable. I, I I'm irritable. I'm just a cranky old bastard. If I don't get my four or five hours of sleep, um, come on, die, die. Jesus, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I suck at sleep, but for whatever reason, I was able to sleep amazingly well in Japan. If I don't know if it was just the elevation, the 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 moisture in the air. Or what? I got really lucky. In my my, my hostel room was um, I got a lower bunk, and it was really um, it was so nice. Like it's just I laid down and I fell asleep. Like like I'm gonna take a nap. I'm tired from you know we have, you have to walk everywhere in Japan if you're not taking the train. Like I'm just gonna take an hour nap. I was asleep for like six hours. I woke up. It was like ten at night. I was like, and I felt a bit like wow. This is the best I've felt physically, and I don't know how long. So it's like, fuck it, I'll take it. Like, I never get to sleep this well. I might as well sleep. So, I did sleep a lot in Japan. That was fun. <laughs> but no, I, my friend and I did a lot of, a lot of exploring. Um, I took a day to explore by myself and experience, fully experience the weirdness. I remember, I think it was a Friday morning when I went, uh, God, this game, the slow down here. This game is not in slow motion. Oh, come on, that's cheap. Um... Yeah, notice how I speed up and then slow down once the rotating things come on the screen again? That's, this game is not the greatest. Um, I wanted to experience rush hour Japan on the trains for myself. So one Friday morning, I went um, at the crack of dawn, I went down to the train station in Takeda no Baba, and we, or it was just me, I experienced the mosh pit that was uh, the train on a, a work day. On a weekday, rather, <laughs> it was amazing. Um, it wasn't to the level of like the the train security. Um, see, that's why that should be a simple jump to make, but because the jumping in this game is like uh, fucking Super Ghouls and Ghosts, where it's like you're locked into a to a certain length, you you can't really control your jump that well. See, it, you can't. <laughs> you're either gonna jump over it, or you, it's it's fucking it's not good. You gotta like. Here. There we go. You gotta like measure your jump. Measure a simple fucking jump before you do it. It's, I hate it. Um, uh, yeah, like Rush Hour Japan. Everybody wearing a suit, which made me laugh. Um, and there was, I remember, everybody is packed together so closely. Um, one guy was playing his uh, Nintendo DS uh, using the shoulder of the guy in front of him as like uh to, to to hold it up i thought that was funny i forget what he was playing i think he was playing uh cooking mama it's just like cooking but in japanese of course but uh, that made me laugh uh, but yeah it is no exaggeration it is uh, rush hour is crazy there it is you're packed in it's like being at a slayer concert people jostling around pretty fun actually um let's see if i can fucking do this there we go! A simple fucking pit navigated. Give me a fucking break, man. Um. Oh boy, these guys again. Yeah, I wandered around that day in Ginza, um, in Shinjuku. It just got sunburned really bad. Um, I went all the way over to uh, the Tower of Tokyo. That was really cool. That is essentially a, a replica of the Eiffel Tower, but painted uh, in the colors of the Japanese flag, red and white. It was really entertaining. And you'll never guess what was on the first floor. I don't know if it's still there. But the first floor of the to Tower of Tokyo is an exhibit for Michael Jackson. It's Michael Jackson's Neverland. Like, what? <laughs> it was... I didn't, do, I didn't see that. I didn't really care. But um, it was shortly... I think um, he died, like, the year before. So Michael Jackson stuff was... It was just everywhere for whatever reason. Um... It was, uh, yeah, no, that was a lot of fun, just wandering around. Um, but that's the thing about Japan is that not only it's 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 not for English speakers, uh, only English only speakers. If you don't speak the language, um, you'll have no idea where to find stuff. There's no, I mean, not that there's any signs to point you in any direction anyway, but it's 
it's just really everything kind of looks the same and there's especially in Tokyo everything is very um, uh, everything is very um, tall so you can't see down the road where you're going um, do I want the ninja nah. can I jump over the ninja yes I can and I got whatever that thing was I think I'm coming cl close to a game over. Anyway, I come close to the end of the episode, so uh, I'll keep rambling about stuff next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Uh, let's see what he has to say here real quick. What is this strength atmosphere?